everybody, it's Vertical Sandwich. I'm not gonna look at the trophies for this games, or for this game because I don't Aliens want any spoilers. Invade City. Wow, those newspaper guys are getting pretty aggressive with their up-to-date reporting. Eh, they probably just write a bunch of alien gorilla stories in advance and just change the dates. City dirtification project a resounding success. Mayor credits New Jersey's rich supplies of rust, grime, crud, and skank. <laughs> and skank. I like that skank is a uh, uh, a commodity. <laughs> like it's a noun. Well, I mean it's always a noun, I guess. But I like that it's a it, it's it's a noun as in the it, an item, not a person. Anyway, well, there's another bug. Maybe it's just bugs for decor. And not Arbug? From, uh, Arbug was from the first game. Sheesh, the mole people are taking their own sweet time getting our subway station back into shape. Well, to be fair, they've been subcontracting to the Mutant Alligators Union. Those guys are notorious loafers. Alright. Rosemary keeps wandering off and leaving this thing behind. Ah, the old Polanski movie jokes. Fantastic. This broken gumball machine always makes me wistfully nostalgic for earlier times. Like that time we smashed this gumball machine. That was great. <laughs> ah, it was intact the first game. <laughs> One of Bosco's discarded Giga Guzzler soda cups. The only drink affected by the position of the moon. Four square and seven brides ago. It's a sculpture of Abe Lincoln's head. Sheesh, what will it take to get rid of that guy? He's not a real guy, Max. I can't be positive, but it seems to be made out of pudding. Is it the annual citywide pudding festival already? I feel unprepared. Now, I do have to say, uh, this game, I don't know if I said this already. Um, this game is, uh, oh, they, they wanted to cut down on inventory collecting. Which was the focus of the first two games, which is why we're not getting a lot of options to pick things up. I'm starting to think our train's not coming, Max. It's a good thing people generally wait for us to come talk to them before they do anything. <laughs> Again with the... It's too far away to see if there's anything interesting and or useful in there. So we can't get into that mysterious tunnel and we couldn't get into it last game either. Old people still haven't cleared away all those old Minesweeper cartridges. Clear them away? They're vintage collector's items! Mark my words, Sam. One day those games are going to be worth pennies! And I made a comment. I made a snarky comment about the urban legend that E.T. cartridges were buried in a landfill. Uh, during the... I'd love to get over there. I'm not quite willing to swim through the muck. Come on, I dare ya. Um, it, like how it was an urban legend that there were E.T. cartridges buried in the landfill and it couldn't, most people think it couldn't possibly be true. And literally like three months after I, I posted that video, um... Hey, either you guys seen Charlie? He was supposed to be back by now. Uh, and then it, like, it turned out to be true. They, they found proof like three months after I posted the video. So I got comments, people going like, well, like... So yeah, it's a reference to that, and it is true. They dumped a bunch of ET cartridges in a landfill, and I own two. So. <laughs> All right, so we've examined most of the mole people's world, and now I think we can just go back on the ship. That's clearly what we have to do. So, uh, we know a little bit about the ship because we clearly went through a tutorial on it. But we don't have any of Max's psychic abilities yet, so... Or do we? Oh! Interesting.
You know... I think I have an idea. This isn't the idea. This is just me interacting with everything I in my mind. I never drink when I'm on a case. Uh, because, you know, it's a Sam and Max game. Although, what would be nice... <sighs> Still can't figure out how to run. Alright, upper deck is where to go. I think if we use future vision on the, on the brain, that might actually... Show us what to do with the brain. Ugh, just let me in. Fine. I forget that I just gotta get the cursor on there and the game's reasonably automatic. So. Uh, personal possessions? Fabulous off world vacation departure center. Well, that's ominous. <laughs> Indeed, it is. Take it. Uh, okay. He died too soon, I'm assuming. How are we going to wake him up? You must figure out how to do it eventually, Sam. He was awake in the future. Well, that's going to be pretty clever of me. I wonder how I end up doing it. It's pretty obvious. So, let's solve the puzzle before the game tells us how. Future vision. You did it, Sam and Max. You awakened me from the sleep of 100 deaths. How did you do it? Well, that's encouraging. So, uh, how did we do it? I don't know. We haven't done it yet. I know. What if you use that future vision on me? Hey, it's all my stuff. Congratulations. Interesting. A lot of things to use that on in here. You did it, Sam and Max! You awakened me from the sleep of 100 deaths! How did you do it? Easy peasy. All it took was Stinky's demon broth and Mama Bosco's futuristic power core. Well, you heard the mean little buddy. We've got to find some demon broth and Mama Bosco's futuristic power core. Okay. We're a long way from getting to where we want to be in this episode, then, aren't we? Stinky cell phone, we need that. Uh, but now that we know that we can use the future vision on... Uh, Things and people and stuff. Let's go mess around with the diner for a bit. But Mama Bosco's futuristic power core. How are we going to get into Bosco? Or... Aha! Well, never mind. The game just told us what to do. Kind of. I mean, it kind of it told us where to go, anyway. So we could have maybe left off on Stinkies. Hey, it's Flint Paper. Hi, you furry pals. <laughs> Maybe Flint can help us with our case, Sam. Anytime, fellas. Except now. <laughs> Would you look at that? Stinky's prize-winning spaghetti. A private dick's gotta eat, you know. 
I knew Flint Paper was brave, but ordering spaghetti all is stinky is just plain reckless. Okay. Do it, Max. Future vision. <laughs> so long, suckers. What about your super secret demon broth? <laughs> Take it. After today, I never need to worry about money again. Okay. We interrupt this program for a breaking news bulletin. Officials for the city's $700 million lottery jackpot drawing have announced that there is one winning ticket sold to unemployed and somewhat pathetic Molopolis resident, Harry Molman. Okay. I was hoping you'd call. No, 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 don't speak. Those detectives are finally gone, but someone might be listening in. We should meet in person. Perfect. I'll leave right away. What? Of course not. And Sam and Max don't suspect a thing. Okay. Tell Doris. Sorry. I wasn't more careful. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, no. Now we'll never be able to find Mama Bosco's power core. Wow, that looked painful. <laughs> wow I this okay this alone makes this game so much more bizarre like okay so there's a lottery there's a ticket there's a mole man who has that ticket but we have to find Harry Moleman I suppose I guess is this the end? Like, the end part that we saw, was that the end of the first chapter? Or was that the end of all five? So maybe now that we've done that, maybe Harry Molman's down here. He could be anywhere, though. He was on the moon in one of the episodes. Oh, wait. Is he on the moon in the second season or the first? I don't even remember. I don't even remember. He was on the moon at the end of the first season. As much as I'd love to get over there. Come on, I dare ya. It's gonna take some real detective work to track down that missing power core. I'm Kay. not supposed to bother the construction workers when they're on break, which is always. Huh. I don't think, I mean, well, geez, at this point, uh, I don't think, uh, Harry Mole Man was not the Mole Man going in to the, uh, the deal, the, but if he, no, we know that because he's in the stupid, he's in the stupid sell in the future. Well, I guess that doesn't mean anything, really. So. Can we go anywhere in the car? Hello, and welcome to a bold new reimagining of the Computer Obsolescence Prevention Society. Nice. Yeah. What are you doing in our car? I said you guys could hang out in our car until you found your own place, but it's been months now. You have been randomly selected to enjoy a free trial of the Crime Hyphen Tron XL at no cost to you. Oh, nice. Okay. Tell me about the power core. Do you guys know where to find something called a power core? What's his problem? We were forced to witness Mama Bosco tearing apart circuit boards to construct her power core. We prefer not to talk about it. 
It was horrible. You're gonna talk about it. How are you guys supposed to help us fight crime? Yeah, you're not even as powerful as a cell phone. Max, that was completely uncalled for. With my 1.6 MHZ of raw power, I am able to analyze data at speeds rivaling the most advanced pocket calculators. And what do you do? I'm a functional telephone, and that's about it. <laughs> What happened to that bluster blaster machine you used to hang out with? He has traveled with user Vasco to Las Vegas, Nevada. What's an outdated arcade machine supposed to do in Vegas? He doesn't even have any money. Bluster Blaster received a generous workers' compensation settlement upon his termination from Pimplica. We cannot comment while litigation is pending. <laughs> so weird. What's this business about a free trial? You have selected to hear more about the Crimetron XL. No, we haven't. In a world where thugs and supervillains rule the streets, only the most technologically advanced Crime Stoppers will emerge victorious. Submit clues gathered from your investigations, and we will analyze the living hell out of them. <laughs> All right, we come back. More cops. Bye, everybody.